How's it going guys? Good morning from the boat. So something super random happened this morning and I'm going to run you through it. So I woke up, rolled over, grabbed my phone and opened Instagram. And the first thing I saw was this. Now I forgot to mention I was at the Overland show at the weekend in Stratford. Didn't film anything because it was so hectic but made a few more van friends. And Alex was one of them. So I messaged him. Fuck dude, you have to drop me the park up. Lauren will love that. Is that the runway? He said couldn't get more on the runway if you tried. So I googled it. And sure enough, it was pretty close to the runway. Not only that, it was just an hour's drive away. Also, don't think I've mentioned on here yet that Lauren's got a little self-employed driver job to keep the money rolling in while she does a PT course, and she's at work today. Fancy a camp out tonight at an aircraft spotting place. <laughs> we all knew that was going to be her response. So it is now 10.30 a.m. Lauren's going to be home around 6. That gives me around 8 hours to chuck some food in the van, fill it with water. Probably take me about 8 minutes. And that is also the perfect opportunity for me to say, today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So if you know us, you'll know that this is one of the most organic brands or companies that we could partner with on YouTube because we use it whenever we're going to be home for a solid amount of time. HelloFresh is basically a food delivery service where you can plan out your meals for the week, and they deliver them in handy little bags with handy little recipe cards. The bags are numbered, this one's number four, and that's the one we're gonna be cooking tonight. As you can see, it's a roasted aubergine and teriyaki noodles. And their service basically takes the stress out of trying to plan your meals for the week and also removes any excess waste. So it's a fun way of getting stuck in in the kitchen, making delicious meals, as well as keeping it as simple as possible, which you'll see later. So if you wanna try some high quality ingredients to set you up for spring, I've got a discount code up here, which is Charlie Pauly, that'll give you 50% off your first HelloFresh box, 35% off the next three. Otherwise, there's a link in description. I'm gonna bang this in the van and we'll pick this up when Lauren gets home from work. Hola, como estas? <laughs> here she is. Good day? Yeah. Oh, got a bit of cold? Yeah, full of cold, but I'm ready to watch some planes. That's the spirit. What are you doing? Washing my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Having a bath in the boat. You wear your boots all day and you've got stinky feet. I can't smell them though because I've got a cold. So I came home and Charlie was like, you better be washing your feet before we leave. <laughs> I didn't quite say that out, but I did say, oh, your feet are a bit smelly and now look at her, bless. Oh, little water gypsies. <laughs> so we are off to a place called RAF Coningsby. As you're aware, it's an RAF base, so not your usual planes. Hopefully see some Spitfires and fighter jets. We are rushing against sunset. It's eight o'clock now. It's an hour to get there, around nine o'clock. Sunset's at 20 past, but if we don't catch anything tonight, might even be some night flights going on. We will hang around in the morning. We're definitely gonna see what's going on. And I've just pumped it in. It's up in Lincoln, and I think it's a popular spot because in Google Maps, it comes up as Aircraft Spotters Car Park. Let's see what we can find. Done still traffic on the A16. Great start. ETA 919. We just Googled sunset, it's 921. <laughs> All right, so we just about got here in time for a bit of light. There is the RAF base. Let me show you the setup for the night. <laughs> it's just like a big empty park up. There's a motorhome over there. Haven't seen any planes going up yet, but you can see them lined up in the distance. What a journey to get here. Got an absolute banger sunset. I didn't capture any, but I think you got some on your phone, did you? A Little bit. Look at that absolute banger. And then all the houses. A couple of little plane spotters there, by the way. This could be an absolute fail. <laughs> I haven't seen a plane yet, have you? No, I didn't see one when we were driving up, but maybe in the morning, maybe we'll be up at 5 a.m. listening to the planes. I will get at least one plane, jet, fighter, whatever you want to call it. As soon as I hear it, I'll jump out and get a bit of footage for you. But for now, I think it's time to set up and get some dinner. Well, oh, how's that? Bit of a sunset in the backdrop. Also, forgot to mention, we passed a place called New York on the way here. We went through a small little village. There was no built up city, no yellow taxis, but New York village in England. I didn't even know it existed. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't look in there. Don't look in there. I've got a couple of surprises that I've got to hide. This is for later, after dinner, okay? Is it crisps? It sounds like crisps. What is it? Goopers! <laughs> Goop! <laughs> and there's crisps. Got a 1.25 litre bottle of Coke as well, forgot about that. And some reduced raspberries. Before all of that, where's my little HelloFresh ticket? 
We got the teriyaki noodles coming up. Talk about coincidence. There's one other couple in the car park. You saw them there in the motorhome. They just come over. They follow us on YouTube and they give us the whole lowdown about what's going on. So we've got an app where we can see all the planes that are in the sky and apparently they go off two times a day. It will be done for tonight, so we're not going to catch anything. We're going to get in bed. But they said if you get up around 8 o'clock, there's normally a morning run around 9, 10. They'll definitely be... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Just keep it down a little bit, please. They'll definitely be sending something up in the morning, so we're going to get up and try and catch that. Uh, they said there's a few Spitfires, jets, and there is a Lancaster bomber that's kept down there in the hangar. Uh, and they open it up in the morning so hopefully we'll be able to walk down there and have a look inside too so we are not quite plane spotters but we're going to get on the app and we're going to give it a go while we're here i'm starting on the coca-cola yeah boy getting drunk <laughs> how cool is this just for a park up though so definitely needed or need still a walk in this van I'm making do with a very flat saucepan, but we're getting there, guys. So we have got roasted aubergine teriyaki noodles. Hopefully, I don't mess it up as I dish up. <laughs> and then if you pan, if you pan down, Loza, we have got peanuts, coriander, and some chili to garnish. Well, moment of truth. It don't look exactly like it does on the sheet, but does it taste good, Loza? Mm. That chilli is definitely going to get rid of your runny nose. No, it will do the opposite. It will give you more of a runny nose. Good though? i tell you what, that is absolutely bad boy. Yeah? Come on. Mm. What did you say? I can't wait for the crisps in bed. Just started at dinner. She's looking forward to the crisps already. I have bought with me my new Polaroid camera. So I feel like now is the perfect time to get a shot. All right, let's give it a go. One, two, three. <laughs> we'll let you know how it turns out. Oh no! Good one? That's perfect. That is actually a really perfect one. Can we just appreciate how beautiful my girlfriend is, please? Can you not? I'd just like to say I'm the luckiest man in the whole of RAF. Where are we? Coningsby. Yeah. It's a con. Don't get a girlfriend. <laughs> I've been conned. <laughs> Can you reach that? <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Right, ladies and gents, that is us. She's happy. Salt and vinegar crisps. Oh. Bit of goo pot in bed, tucked up. <laughs> like a little hobbit in the corner. All fingers crossed for some jets in the morning. Phew, big spitfires. If not, at least we've had a camp out anyway, but... It's bad goo pots, isn't it? <laughs> catch you bright and early. Switch off time. Panic stations, we're in a bit of a mess, Lauren's doing a makeup, we haven't made the bed, toilet's still out, but there's a plane moving. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right in the distance there, there is a plane moving somewhere. A couple of cars pulled up. I've heard that he's going to do a display, so we better jump out and try and capture this. We're at the end of the runway, so that all happened very fast. But it was very loud. I'm glad that didn't happen last night when we were in bed because I would have shit my pants. But yeah, big fighter jet by the looks of it. Would have certainly got a bit busier as well. <laughs> it's obviously the place to be. Burger vans pitched up in the corner. People are getting their bacon butties in. I'm going to keep out the wind. And we're going to get some breakfast on. Hopefully we'll see a few more planes take off. Always a guarantee something goes wrong when we go on a trip, aren't there? Yeah. <laughs> Lauren's dropped her coffee. It's hit the wall. No, it's hit this glass jar. In the bag. In the bag. And it's gone everywhere. Only shards of glass in there. No, we don't want you drinking glass. <laughs> this is like proper bear grill shit, isn't it? Doesn't it? It's like being back in a barley coffee plantation, seeing how it's all made. We've been in the whole thing. I'm not allowing her to drink that. Come over for a closer look. I think Lauren's getting breakfast on. Car park's absolutely packed. Haven't got a clue what I'm looking at, but I'm gonna get a bit of footage for you. Our little toaster's not been out in a while. It's been a while, so Lauren's got a bit gourmet today, guys. She's got the avocado out, beans, garlic mushrooms and toast. They even set the table up, look. That's not like you, to spill something down your top, is it? While Lauren scrubs herself up, look at the setup, though. Absolutely fantastic. And 
turned into an aviation geek for the day. Look at this. One of the blokes outside gave me a website. It's called ADSB Exchange. It's like a live flight tracker. We're on the move. Yes, too. Hmm? There's another one coming out. Oh dear. We're half in, half out. I'm sacrificing my beans on toast for this. How many planes out there? I don't want to miss it. Oh, it's gone straight up, man. I was waiting for it to go down the runway. It literally went straight up in the air. Look at that. <laughs> Quality. I wonder how fast that's going. All right. Back to me cold beans on toast. <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. Don't know how well I've captured it on here, but success. We've had one go off the runway and over our van, and then we've had two, one after the other there, went straight vertical up in the sky. I think the noise makes it all the more exciting. Because <laughs> yeah. it's so loud. It's probably completely ruined the audio on here. Microphone's probably about to explode, but it is so loud. Go, 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 go. <laughs> One's just coming to land, and we have a feeling. Oh, steady on. <laughs> This is probably the closest we're going to get. It's sick. That was cool, wasn't it? Really good. What did you say? There was like missiles underneath it. Yeah, it was underneath it. Because it says if you carry on taking the mickey out of me, then it's going to drop on your head. Realise that the landings are definitely better than the takeoffs because we're at the end of the runway. So when they come in, they have to do their little manoeuvre at the end. So we're hanging around. We're hanging around for another one. Right, we're off on an adventure. We've left our barracks. We're going to see how close. <laughs> how close we can get to these planes. Well, I think this is about as close as we're going to get. <laughs> Look at them. Check this out. This is serious stuff. This is a high awareness area due to it being the ground outside a MOD, Ministry of Defence establishment, which can be observed or attacked by criminals or terrorist organisations. Eyes peeled. Should we put the drone up? <laughs> Jake's being got one. Get around this way. <laughs> Lauren's gone rogue. The bloody missile here, look. We might be in luck. I didn't even know this existed. Hopefully, this doesn't ruin the vlog, but it says Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, and there's like an aircraft display hangar. We're in the car park, and it says, I hope you enjoyed your visit. So we're going to go through, see if we can get in there. This is sick. Look, there's little bunkers. <laughs> Lauren just took a little tour in there. It says, aircraft on display today. Spitfire, Dakota, Lancaster. Let's get inside. I'd love to try and educate you, but I'm well out of my depth here. I'm just kind of taking it all in. There's plenty of memorabilia. There's information up here about the Lancaster bombers from World War II. I think Lauren's sorting the tickets out. We're gonna go through and check out the planes. <laughs> wow. We are in an active RAF hangar. As you can see, there's planes, well, aircraft everywhere. We've got a guide down there, Patrick, who's taking us along. I'll try and relay some information as we go. First one up, boom. The biggest one in here is a Douglas C-47 Dakota. I think he said it's the only US built plane in the fleet. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Lauren's more interested in the bullets. Got a bit more info for you, hopefully I don't bore you, but this was built to carry up to 28 paratroopers. So it's more of a transportation plane or freight. Despite being slower than the Spitfire. Patrick was saying, that the Spitfires normally get all the praise, but the Hurricanes actually took down more enemies. Coming down now to the big boys, well, small boys, a couple of Spitfires famous for taking out the Luftwaffe in the Battle of Britain. Reality check. Imagine flying around in that on your own, one man flying, shooting, bullets going past you, 1940. Me and Lauren get nervous for getting on an A380. What do you reckon, Lauren? Would you fly in that? Would I? <laughs> Quick fun fact, this is probably getting really boring for you, but I'm getting into it. Black and white humbug stripes on the side to avoid friendly fire. Make sure we don't blow up our own troops. The big boy, the Lancaster bomber. Patrick says a lot of people come to see this from all around the UK and the world. 
Um, there were 7,300 built for World War II, and there are only two airworthy ones left. This is one of them. The other one is in Canada somewhere, and they are the most successful and famous bombers from World War II. Looking that might power the narrowboat. Yeah, we go flying. Heading out now, back through the visitor centre, we found the bombs, and they are what are carried in the Lancaster bombers. 15,000 pound in weight. They said the little fins at the back there, when the wind catches them, drop out of the carrier, they can reach speeds of up to 750 miles per hour. Faster, Faster supersonic, I think he said. Feel this. Tell you, I'm a driver. <laughs> Baby driver. Someone's volunteered to drive home. She loves driving in the van. One stop off on the way home, is it? Yeah, I think it's Mackie D's, isn't it? <laughs> Mackie D's to get us home. Bit of a random one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, came here for a bit of a camp out, cook up, saw some jets taking off and then ended up walking around a RF base. So. And had a massive history lesson. <laughs> We've got to try not to be too miserable to sign the vlog out. It was great in there, it was very interesting, but yeah, an hour and a half and we walked about 100 metres. We, got, we pretty much got yeah. taught everything there was to know about uh, the planes and aircrafts in World War II, but I guess that's what some people want to know. So on that note, we will catch you on the next one, signing out from RAF Coninsby. <laughs>